something that might be unique to the state of Alabama, I don't know other states, is our ages of consent for treatment and consent for refusal. For national registry purposes, when you're taking the test, we generally just assume 18. If they're above 18, they can consent. If they're under 18, they're a minor and you need parental permission. In Alabama, it's a little bit different. We can consent, or a person can consent at the age of 14, or if they're married, married and divorced, pregnant, or have graduated high school. So if they're 12 years old and they've graduated high school, they can consent to treatment. Now, refusal is another story. They can't refuse treatment until they're 19, or if they're emancipated. And emancipated generally means married, pregnant, graduated high school, joined military service, um, something like that. So we can have a 16, 17, 18 year old involved in a car wreck, and they can consent to be treated, but they can't refuse. We have to get in touch with the parent or the guardian. Now, if that ever happens, if they're refusing care, always contact medical direction and get their advice on what to do. Um, and always try to contact the parent. Now, there is an exception to this. So if I had, let's say, an eight-year-old that was out and was hit by a car and is critical, we do not have to wait to get parental permission to treat. We can begin to treat under implied consent uh, for minors and provide whatever life-saving treatment needed. Now, eventually, we do need to get in touch with the parents, but at least initially begin treatment and taking care of the kid, um, the child, until we can get that permission. And that includes pretty much everything in our scope of practice and all the way to the transport to the hospital. So we're, of course, going to try and get in touch with the parents, but if it is a critical or seriously injured child, we can begin to take care of them. So again, at 14, they can consent, but we can't refuse until we're 19. Um, so between that 14 and 19 year olds, kind of kind of a weird thing for Alabama. They can per consent to treatment, but we have to have parental permission to refuse treatment. If you ever have any questions, make sure you contact online medical direction.